What's going on YouTube? Today we're gonna be tooling a lighthouse. We got an easy one today, folks. We're gonna tool a lighthouse. So you wanna get your bevelers. We are going to rock with some smaller bevelers here. Lighthouses are super easy. The most important thing when you're starting out is you might have all of these you know, lines and you don't know which way to do them. So what I always say is to break it down so it's understandable. So really we have kind of like three or four chunks of this lighthouse really. So we have this, this kind of chunk that kind of ends here. So this lower chunk, so this giant piece bulk of the lighthouse from here down. And then we have this kind of middle portion where, you know, there's some windows and then we'd have this very top part. So we're gonna break it down. So even a dumb person like myself can figure it out. So we're going to bevel this because the perspective you know, you're at the ground level, almost the way you're looking at it right now is basically the, the same perspective that a person who would be looking at this lighthouse has, right? So, you know, you're not gonna see the part where this upper portion connects to the top of this lower portion here. So we're gonna bevel this line in this way. Then we're gonna come around the outside and give us our silhouette. Now this is tricky because I put these two things way too close together, these letters and this lighthouse, but we're gonna make do. And these lines I'm hitting pretty hard, as you can hear, I'm kind of smacking them good. And then what I'm gonna do is, just since we're here and I don't wanna think about all this other stuff, I'm going to kind of tie everything else together. Like I'm gonna finish off this flower so I don't have to think about it. Okay, back to our lighthouse. Um, like I said, we're gonna break it into three chunks. So then our next chunk is gonna be this top portion here, which you can hear. I'm giving some good amount of pressure to on these taps because this is the silhouette of the lighthouse, right? So that's our middle section. And then this top, this very top triangle, because you have to remember the perspective, right? So at this positioning, you actually should be able to see where this portion right here connects to this top kind of a roof chunk, right? Let's finish with our silhouette. Now that should be pretty much it for our hard smacking. So now everything else is going to be a little bit softer. You have to think because the lighthouse is, you know, cylindrical, we're going to we're going to think about this lighthouse the same way we're going to think about this mallet handle. So this center ridge is going to be the most foreground piece, right? And as you go around the backside, it kind of goes farther and farther and farther into the background, right? So what we're gonna do is treat all these more center lines, you know, as our center, pretty self-explanatory. If you notice, it has four segments. It has, you know, these two front segments and then these two side segments right here, up here too, right? They're kind of proportionate. So what we're gonna do, you know, anytime you do something kind of natural or even like a building or something, you're gonna get a lot better of a look when you don't, you know, whenever you take either a drawing or an image and like, say if I were to make this split straight down the center, it's gonna look a little bit more awkward and a little bit more fake. The fact that we have kind of an uneven look at it is gonna make it look a little bit more realistic and a little bit more natural and a little bit more dynamic. So with that being said, we're still gonna treat this center line as if it was the regular center line and it was completely in the middle, but we are going to lean a little bit more heavy on the right side because you can see that we're looking at this right side being a little bit more into the background. So our very center line, we're actually going to bevel both ways, but we're gonna bevel one side a little bit harder. This side here on the right, we're gonna bevel it a little bit harder, but just very gently tap it. So same thing here, what I'll typically do is I will tap pretty lightly or the tap the lighter side first. You can hear compared to the taps from earlier, this is a lot lighter of a tap. I'm giving it a little bit more aggressively going the other way. So double beveling this line is gonna give us a little bit more of the illusion that it's centered up versus leaning one way or another. And then very simply, just like we did that top, we're gonna bevel this very, very lightly. I mean, like how much better it looks already. I mean, we could we could damn near stop there if we wanted to, but we're gonna take this thing over the top. So what we're gonna do is this portion up here, we're gonna do is put this, this these are windows with the lines right here, these two chunks. So we're gonna kind of put those in the back. So we're gonna alternate, set these up like that. And what I should do is come in with a swivel knife 
make sure that these lines are nice like that. And we're gonna give them a couple verticals. You can see, as long as you're kind of getting the spacing right, then you can come back in here, kind of with, grab another, you know, grab at it, and then you can finish that line off solid. Good, and that is our little window chunk. So what I'm gonna do now is give this roof some texture. So I'm gonna make sure to go super parallel. And I don't want these lines to go all the way across, so I'm gonna kind of give it a little bit of a fade. Just something like that. Quick interruption. YouTube has notified me that literally 80% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. We are trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. I'm not a full-time YouTuber. I am a leather crafter who makes videos in his spare time. Just trying to put out some extra content for you guys. So please hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with a friend, do what you can. Most of these videos take five or six hours to make between filming it, editing it, making a thumbnail, all that stuff. I don't get paid to make YouTube videos. I just enjoy doing them. So in return, if I bring you any kind of value, whether you laugh, you cry, you learn something, whatever it might be, please hit that subscribe button. Now back to the video. Hard to see, but there you can see what I did. Just a little bit of texture. And then same with these other, this other top portion. Go something like this. You know, just to give us some textures. Boom, top chunk's done. I like this. You don't gotta get crazy. Just just something to give us textures because the colors that we're gonna eventually end up using are gonna be um, massive um, in the completeness of how this looks. So this whole top chunk, this is done. Now all I have to do is worry about this, this larger bottom portion. Same thing with these lines here at this crease. What we're gonna do is we're gonna double bevel these lines. You wanna do the side that's going to be, you know, less beveled first, so you can go a little bit softer. And then when it comes time to do the other side, you can kind of tap it a little bit harder. Now these lines here is gonna be where our colors are gonna go. Um, this particular lighthouse in real life is red and white alternating. So we could leave these lines just kind of as they are. We could carve them, but what I'll typically do is come in with a beveler and kind of just like hand mold it just so it gives us a little bit more something interesting to look at. The way that the stain collects in this groove should be kind of cool and interesting. There we go. And there is your lighthouse. Now you could leave it there. Or if you're feeling a little squirrely, you can give it a couple little dashes of, uh, you know, extra seasoning on top or a little bit of just something, something with extra just decorative cuts. And that's kind of what I'm going to do. I'm going to go just super ever so gently, just a couple lines, kind of complementing the shape of this thing. This is definitely not necessary, but kind of gives it a little bit more age especially on a building or you know something that's older giving it a little bit of tatteredness you know never hurt and I'm going this way on this layer because it's going to accentuate that this is like a flat we're looking at a flat surface Ta -da, there is our lighthouse you could leave it like that if you want to keep it natural but I'm going to add some color to mine and you know what while we're while I still got you here we're gonna do it, we're gonna take it all the way home. We're gonna take it all the way down to Funky Town. So I'm gonna take my backgrounder tool, or my matting tool, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna give it some love. And what this is gonna do is help pop this lighthouse off the surface of the leather. Instead of it kind of being on the leather, we want it to look like it's coming off the surface. And ta-da. Now you can see that kind of sits on the surface of the leather a little bit better. You can see that background is a little bit darker. And then this is nice and bright and very poppy right in your face. You leave it there or you can add a layer of paint to it. I am particularly going to add a layer of paint because we got a whole lot of other stuff going on on this particular project. There you go. That is how you tool a lighthouse.